first prop is is a bunch of bananas and um yeah to be honest with you you know 30 years down the line still people still talk about the bananas and um i often get asked the story behind the behind the bananas and and it's quite a weird one actually because you know before going on this banana it was a banana diet back in the day and back in 87 88 um i just signed for millwall um in the close season um i always thought myself as having a little bit of pace and what have you but um I always felt it was a little bit sort of lightweight, so I wanted to sort of bulk up a little bit. So I read in a book that if you eat like three or four bananas on top of your diet, that um, you know it makes you bulk up a little bit. But what happened? What what happened was I actually took it to another level and and like took it to a totally different extreme level. So I started eating fourteen, fifteen bananas a day, <laughs> and um, which didn't what you know? <laughs> yeah, I just just went I just went over the top with it, Max, and. Uh, you know, it ended up probably one of the worst moves I could ever ever imagine, and uh, it all culminated in. It must have been popular down the local fruit market, though. <laughs> getting all these bananas in. Oh, absolutely! I think they were getting, you know, just doubling their orders in just just to keep me in supply. <laughs> you know, but um, did but, try yeah. and push pianos upstairs as well, did they? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I remember one game like so so I'd gone on this diet so within about I don't know four weeks I'd put on about two stone. Um, and, and obviously that's not ideal as a winger you know obviously want to push the ball past the defender and, and get after it and what have you um, and I remember one game um, two months into the season um, I remember we, we'd signed George Lawrence so I was um, he was playing on the right wing we are playing late on at the den and um, I was sub and um, 15 minutes into the game George Lawrence went down hamstring so he, John Dot went warm up you're going on so there's me you know just come off the banana diet, just on the banana on, on banana diet. Go on there, trying to make a name. Anyway, ten minutes in the game, I'm huffing and puffing. I can't run. I'm literally feeling that, that you know I'm just knackered. You know, belly's sticking out a little bit as well. I'm just thinking, gosh, this ain't this ain't great. Fifteen minutes go and I'm feeling so bad. Anyway, cut a long story short. Within about twenty minutes, John Doc Fishhook pulls me pulls me off. Twenty minutes, I'm sitting back down with him in the dugout. Sub the sub, embarrassing at, at the den as well. So um, anyway, I always remember. I mean, John Dot puffing on his cigar. Um, subs are subs. He didn't even look at me. I'm sitting next to him, puffing on his cigar. He's going, Jimmy, got to get for them bananas, son. And um, I thought, do you know what? You're absolutely right. Anyway, went back in the change room after the game, and um, he came up to me. He went, "What's this about you on like ten bananas a day?" I said, "No, Dot, I'm on about fifteen bananas a day." He went, "I can't believe it." <laughs> anyway, opened my, my 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 kit bag. I had four bunches in there. He looked at me. He went. It off them. He just, I mean, the whole the whole dressing room just just collapsed laughing. I went, "What's all this about?" So, had to had to sort of go back to the drawing board, you know, go back to some sort of normal diet, bin the bananas. Um, but to this day, um, you know, it took me about two months actually to get back in the first team. Um, and and uh, so, yeah, I, I don't think I'd be doing that ever again.